I realize every time that I look at all of you, I, it, I start humming. So I think there's something about our being together that creates wonder and appreciation for me. And, uh, and so I imagine that it creates some kind of connection, some kind of nourishment for you. So I want to invite you today to let yourself be fully open to being nourished. One of the main functions of attention and giving and receiving attention is it's a nutrient. It's a major nutrient. And I think, especially right now, this is kind of a heavily stressful period. Of course, been saying that for the last several years. Um, but you may be experiencing some, you know, peaks and valleys in the stress level. So I wanted to um, invite you to notice what is it like to get open to receiving? Because there's been so much that's gone on in the last few years where we're going, oh, I don't want that. I got to stay away from that. Oh, I don't want to let that in. And it may have kind of narrowed your receptive pulse. And so just notice first what it's like when you're going, oh no, I don't wanna let that in, where you're protecting yourself. Just notice what that's like at a whole body level. And you might wanna even exaggerate it a little bit so you can become aware of the things that are more subtle. So one of the things I notice I do is I sort of contract and pull back a little bit. So I'm kind of removing myself from the front lines. And so notice what you do and exaggerate it a little bit and notice how, that, how you experience that energetically. And I realize when I do that, I kind of automatically get more stressed, scared, anxious. So if I'm willing to receive, for me that I immediately expand. And I find that I expand more to the sides of me. There's a, it's kind of like an umbrella opening, <laughs> sort of an inverse umbrella. So the umbrella opens this way, but I can feel it. Ah, ah, things can come in. And so give a moment to actually letting your body get ready to receive before we practice the actual giving and receiving of attention. Because I have a special, there was a word that occurred to me. This has been happening to me in the middle of the night that words or ideas come to me. It's been very fun. Uh, and so I'd like you to first get willing to receive and notice what comes up for you, images or memories or you know, thoughts or anxieties about, is it okay to receive? because you might've been open to receiving and then what you got, you know, might've felt like an egg in your face. <clears throat> so would you be willing to <clears throat> receive and that your presence opens up friendly attention for you? And this has to do with the beam, excuse me. <clears throat> <laughs> just wiggle that phlegm on out of my bod. Ah. <laughs> so receiving, the word that was coming to me is receiving and discerning. So how about letting yourself receive and then the stuff that's not for you, just let it right on through. Just, yeah, oh no, not for me. So rather than pushing it away, just let it on through so that it doesn't interfere with your receiving flow. Yeah, I can feel just the, that intention opens up more space in me to receive and then just let the other stuff through because rather than trying to argue with that or you know, assert the primacy of your point of view, just ah, letting that through and then letting the nutrient of friendly attention land. 
And you might notice where especially would you like to be receiving friendly attention today? You know, and just let your whole body, your whole self tell you that. Where would you like to be receiving friendly attention? So I can feel it's right in the back of my neck here on the sides where it reach, meets my shoulders. And I'm imagining that, you know, since this is the anger zone, there are lots of things I've been feeling angry about here recently. So you might notice if your receiving place is also a feeling place, that there may be some feelings that are wanting to be let through and, and giving your friendly attention to that. So the word that was coming to me in the middle of the night was beam, B-E-A-M, beam. And um, there's the beam that's like the beam that holds the house up. I like that aspect of beam. And I also, the, the thought that was coming to me was the, when someone you know loves you, turns their full attention on you and they're beaming at you, that's the kind of beaming that I was thinking of. And I'd like you to let yourself think of someone with whom you've had that kind of relationship and imagine them beaming at you and let yourself fully receive that. I had that relationship with my grandmother and when she would turn her attention to me, I felt really special and I could feel myself spreading out and I felt noticed that in all of the chaos of my family, somebody noticed me. And so I'd like you to receive that kind of beaming. Mm, I can feel it, especially here in my heart area and up under my shoulder blades, that kind of so I can feel it allowing me to beam, spreading out my own beaming. And then I'd like you to let that be your loop of awareness practice where you're beaming. And I do that outdoors now, like I was at the farmer's market on a Sunday. And what I realized I was doing was beaming at people <laughs> because I was just so appreciating all of the color and the fabulous mushrooms. And, uh, and when I'm indoors, I let the beaming come through my whole body because I still wear a mask indoors. Like when I'm at the grocery store and here's what I found, I can beam with my whole body. So not just through my face or through my eyes. So I'd like you to try on letting your whole body beam. It's like turning the light on. I have these LED lights in my entryway and I first turn them on and they seem like, oh, wait a minute, the light hasn't come on. And then it goes boom, 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 boom. So let wherever the beam is occurring in you right now, let it expand. Let it get really bright so you're enjoying it. And then I'd like you to let yourself just send it out into the space that's right around you so that you're letting that all be touched by your beaming. And I realize when I beam out that I immediately get the reflection back into me. So I get more beaming, receiving beaming. So I'd like you to play with sending beaming and receiving beaming. And I, I wanna invite you to let your body respond to both directions. So when the beaming comes into you, let yourself absorb it. For me, it goes most into the fear melter of wiggling. It opens up wiggling, a little space of ah. Oh. You can also see if there's any sound that allows you to really absorb all that wonderful beaming. And I find that if I add e either and or appreciation and curiosity to my beam as it's going out, I can kind of regulate the amount of beaming that I want to send out and the amount that that person or that group might be able to receive. 
Because sometimes, have you ever found that your beaming sort of knocks people over? <laughs> they, they kind of go, whoa, that's a, <clears throat> it's kind of a good problem. But if you add a little bit of appreciation <clears throat> and or curiosity, it makes your beaming like a warm. So let's try warm beaming out maybe to somebody in your world whom you know could use a little nutrient and really let it land. So you let your beaming go out until you can go, mm, yeah, they're getting it. Cause you can feel it. And then let that beaming come back to you. And this time I'm feeling the beaming is wanting to kind of swirl around me. Mm, and I'm letting myself receive. And then send your beaming out to a place. It might be a place in your neighborhood. Like I'm sending beaming out to my local community. We're coming up to voting. And there's a lot of kind of going on, which you may be experiencing also. And so the appreciating, getting curious, and just beaming that kind of attention. I'm kind of sending it out like a big bubble over my little neighborhood here and letting that land because it's okay with me if people feel more appreciated and uh, get more curious I forget exactly who it was it who said this it might have been Fritz Perls that being grown up is the appreciation of differences. So what we generally try to do with differences is make ours right and the other wrong or make the other one go away. But what if we could use appreciation to open up to the vast range of different experiences that people have, all of which are valuable to them and could be valuable to us. Hmm, so you can send your beam out with a hmm, hmm. And I noticed that that changes my perception of others' wrongness. <laughs> if I send my beam out with hmm, and I invite you to do a whole bunch of that in the next couple of weeks of hmm. And any part of you that you're making wrong, let the hmm with the beam. I was seeing those little flashlights we used to take under the bed to find you know, little dust balls or to find that piece of Halloween candy that we'd stashed and it was under the bed somewhere. So letting that little beam come into your body and land anywhere where you most would like to have a little extra appreciation a little extra friendliness. Do a couple of love scoops to that place as well. Mm. When in doubt, mm, love scoops, fear melters will all return you to that availability for giving and receiving. That's something that we can do to each other entirely without any discussion. And it can open up the possibility of bridging, of connecting, of finding new solutions. So I'm going to now tap for a new combo on Presence Connect Play. So Presence is. Oh, presence is a loop of awareness. Notice you. So notice breath and sensations. And then notice others. So this would be a great opportunity to notice others who are on the call today. So the notice you, notice your breath and your body sensations, and then send that beam out to others. Notice others. And then notice you, 
just that simple shift really is a presence pump. It presences you and it presences others and gives others a chance to enjoy being here. Because after all, that's the point. You know, <laughs> to me, enjoying being here and enjoying others being here and enjoying being alive, the more that we actively enjoy that, the more others can feel and connect and osmose that. Ah, connect is reflect feelings. I've been giving a lot of attention to that recently because I sense that that's one of the biggest gaps in our being together is allowing giving and receiving feelings. So let yourself just notice what, uh, what feelings you're aware of right now. And even if you don't actually say what feelings are in others, let yourself imagine and reflect back with your loop of awareness, a welcoming of whatever feelings that is emotions and body sensations that others might be experiencing. Because I can tell when I'm looking at people, oh, there's a lot of sadness around that person. Or, oh boy, that's a little prickly. That person's a little prickly today. And I can reflect that just with my awareness. And I can also give a little beam of hmm to that. So play is, ooh, bodify your experience for a moment before speaking. Ooh, that's a cool one. I didn't realize I put in there before speaking. So imagine if this week, so just take a moment and bodify what you're experiencing right now. And so go on into your body and let your body bodify whatever that is, with movement, with sound, with moving around if you want to. Oh. And it might be a combo of things. It might be some opposites that are going on. So there might be some and there might be also oh. And now see if you can modify that very, very subtly just inside yourself, because imagine, so usually we speak before we tune in. So bodifying allows you to communicate, because see, words are very, very condensed knowledge, but bodify welcomes everything that's going on right now. And then out of that, you might have an entirely different way of speaking. So this is really one that I invite you to play with this week because it will allow your deeper communication to come through the deeper thing that you, or the one thing that you might want to express that you didn't even realize when you were coming from your head. But when you modify, a whole different communication and connection might want to come through. And it becomes play rather than work, working hard. So thank you so much for being here. Yes, yes, for giving and receiving. So receiving friendly, ah, beaming, beaming with hmm and wonder and modify. All right, so until next time, mwah, enjoy and I'm going to take my leave now and please continue here as long as it's pleasurable to you all. So bye now. Mm -hmm.